What is going on, guys? Well, I want to welcome you to another episode with It's Our Time to Be Free. And today we're going to talk about our inner critic. I'm sure a lot of you probably have heard about that. Um, so we're going to talk about what is this inner critic in case you haven't heard about it and how, how can you actually recognize it. And you know, we're going to talk about uh, ways that you can tame it. All right, because that that inner voice that we hear inside of us, inside of our heads, it, it really keeps us from living up to our full potential. A lot of times it'll keep us from being successful in life. Let me shut this off. But a lot of times it'll keep us from being successful in life. Uh, had to do, do, uh, turn that notifications off. So we're going to begin by, you know, just... What is we're going to talk about what is an inner critic and how can we actually recognize it? That way, if you've got that inner critic that's causing low self-esteem and causing you to feel like you're not enough and always telling you that you can't do something, you will be able to start to recognize it and stop it right in its tracks. So as you continue on your journey, you'll be able to um, just be able to recognize these things so that you know, you can stop it pretty quickly and continue to move on with your life. So let's talk about this inner critic. This inner critic is basically, it's basically the dialogue that plays in your head. It's what sends you messages that can actually sabotage your success. Now, as our thoughts and our feelings are so deeply connected that when you send yourself negative messages, it leads to emotions such as insecurity and sadness. We don't want to be insecure about our, ourselves. We don't want to be sad. We want to live a more joyful life and live life to the best of our ability. So these feelings can also send, you know, unintended messages to the world because whatever you feel it inside, you portray that to the exterior, to the external world, which it creates a self-fulfilling prophecy. So if you're feeling like you're not good enough, everything that you do is going to feel like it's not good enough. You're creating this, you're creating this reality for yourself. So when you tell yourself something long enough, more than likely, you're gonna live the, you're gonna live that message. But there's a here's the good news. Because it can be the same can be true for positive messages, all right? So if we're thinking more positive of ourselves, then we'll create that reality for ourselves. We'll create that positive reality for ourselves. So now let's jump into how to recognize it. As, first of all, being critical of ourselves is common. It's a common human trait. We all do it, okay? We all do it. Some know how to recognize it and stop it right away. Others don't quite know how to recognize it and it consumes them. It eats away at them. So it's easier, it's, it's easier to see the negative messages in ourselves versus our shining strengths, the, our strengths. We can see all the negatives, but we rarely, rarely see the positive that we have about ourselves. So the good news is, though, with some, you know, educating yourself and doing some inner work, looking at your, you know, your inside, your inner thoughts, you can actually learn how to recognize your own self-defeating thought. This little bit of insight is actually key to managing and overcoming them. OK, so try to pay attention to your inner your inner thoughts, that inner voice that's telling you different things. Try to pay attention to it and then remind yourself that just because you think it, it just because you think it doesn't make it true. So write down these patterns as you notice them. And as you go on, it will help you, you know, determine which ideas are most harmful to your well-being and which ideas should be addressed. That way, you know, if you if you're paying attention to the thoughts in your head, especially those negative ones that may cause harm to your well-being, you'll be able to stop those things, address it and move on with your life. So here's some ways to tame it. 
I want you to make a real attempt to stop playing events over and over and over in your head. We have this, we have this, um, we have this thing where we play events over and over and over and over in our mind. And the only thing that does is it stresses us out. It makes us anxious because we're, you know, not knowing. But when we play these events over and over in our mind, so let's say you've had a bad day or, re, or you regret something that happened. When you replay these events over and over, it makes your body tense. It stresses you out and it makes your mind cloggy and foggy. So make a real attempt to stop playing these events over and over. Okay, because it only intensifies the uh, unproductive cycle that never ends. All right. So instead, I want you to try to find active solutions to the issues that you're facing. If you're facing a particular problem, stop focusing on the try to stop focusing on the problem and focus more on providing a solution. How can you change the situation? Can you actually change the situation? Because some some events are out of our control. You know, you might want to, you know, consider the advice of a friend, you know, or consider the advice that you give to a friend. Okay, so allow yourself some kindness and some generosity. So another thing that you can do is look for evidence to actually prove those messages that you're saying to yourself wrong. Okay, and then, you know, reframe those negative things, those negative thoughts that you're having by telling yourself you know, um, by reframing it into more realistic messages. A lot of times we'll be telling ourselves these things in our head and they're not realistic. Some of them haven't even happened. So you want to, you know, try to turn that around, turn that negative thoughts around to something positive and something more realistic. Okay. And finally, I want you to consider the worst case scenario. You know, in most cases, it's really not that bad at all. It's just real talk. It's really not that bad at all in most cases. I'm not saying all cases, but in most cases, it's not that bad at all. All right. It's, you know, and more times than not, it's not the end of the world, you know, and you can usually overcome, uh, overcome a lot of those things that you experience. So this should really give you the confidence to by knowing these things here, it should really give you the confidence to really push through, push through that fear that you're having and that doubt and setting that doubt aside so that you can move forward toward your goals. So I want you to just keep that in mind as you are thinking about your inner critic, um, especially when those in those times and those experiences when you're when that inner critic is just like yeah 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 just yapping in your ear i want you to take some time and just pay attention to the thoughts to the the things that you are telling yourself okay because we don't want those negative things that we tell ourselves to become our reality so i've given you some ways on i've given you um, what this inner critic is, most of you probably already know. I've given you some ways on how to recognize it and how to actually tame it to, you know, put a halt to it, you know, so that you can start changing those negative thoughts into more positive messages that you send to yourself. All right, guys, that's what I got for you today. I appreciate you uh, taking the time to watch this video. If you enjoyed it, shoot me a like. Um, comment down below if you have any questions and I really look forward to working with you and just teaching you more about my experiences in life now just so you know there there will also be a link down in the description you know for if you're dealing with low self-esteem if you're dealing with insecurity there's a free workshop that you can take seven days it's free workshop that you can take so that you can learn how to get over how to overcome that those those low self-esteem moments and uh the those moments of insecurity all right so 
as I always say, it's our time to be free.